National Grid has said it will learn the lessons after nearly one million people across England and Wales lost power yesterday. It confirmed to the BBC that although two power stations had failed simultaneously, it's not thought to have been the result of a cyber attack. The regulator Ofgem has demanded an urgent report into what went wrong. Thousands of train passengers were stranded, Ipswich Hospital lost power and homes throughout the country were plunged into darkness. Simon Jones has more. Plunged into darkness. But now the UK's energy regulator is demanding the national grid shed some light on what went wrong. Yay! Described as an incredibly rare event, but it caused chaos, particularly on the rail network. This was the message for travellers on a train that finally got into King's Cross at two this morning. For many, it was a waiting game. So what went wrong? A gas-fired power station at Little Barford in Bedfordshire failed at 4.54 yesterday afternoon. It's blamed a technical issue. Almost simultaneously, the Hornsea offshore wind farm in the North Sea disconnected from the grid. The power loss was so large, backup systems kicked in, meaning some demand across the country had to be cut. It affected almost a million customers across England and Wales. The National Grid says it's working with the generators to find out why, admitting many questions need to be answered. The consequences were widespread. Some traffic lights were out, Newcastle Airport experienced power issues, and at Ipswich Hospital, the backup generator failed. Even once power was restored, many Great Northern trains remained stuck because drivers couldn't restart them. They had to wait for specialist engineers. The National Grid has ruled out a cyber attack for the failure, but if the regulator isn't happy with its explanations, it could be fined 10% of its annual turnover.